Risk Tech TV at Risto 95A. Make sure to subscribe to Restatch Tips for more videos. Hey guys, this is Ryan from DetectApple.com, and today I have a tweak review of a tweak called Allowed. It is 99 cents on the Mod My Eye repo, and you just saw one feature of what it does. It actually spoke my um, event I had there. I had a notification and it spoke it, and that's one of the things it does. There was a tweak um, earlier this week, I think, called Speak Events that did the same thing, but it was a lot more complicated because you had to buy it off of PayPal and everything like that. It's one, this one's actually even better because it speaks over 30 languages. So let's go over some of the settings. So in the Allowed Settings, you have to turn it on by clicking Enable, and then you can go to the Voice Settings. In here, you're going to be able to change the language, as I said, over 30 different languages. And there is a lot of the common languages, so I don't think you're going to have to worry about not having your language in there. So if we go back, you can also choose a custom rate at how fast um, the voice actually speaks. If you want it to go slow, go more down here. If you want it to go fast, go up here and make sure you enable it. And then you could also do a custom volume too. So if you don't want it blaring in your pocket, then you could turn the volume down or you could turn it up. It really is your preference. And then you could suppress the notification sound by turning that on. And if we go back to allowed, we can go to applications here. If you go into the applications, you're going to be able to choose which applications you do not want to speak. So if you don't want it to speak city events, and you're going to turn that on. If you don't want it to speak the clock events, and you can turn that on. And if you actually want to invert it, so all the applications that are checked are only spoken, and then you could actually um, turn this one on right here. And if we go back now, we can actually go into notification rules. So there is some rules in here, um, speak notification, you could choose if you want it to be um, spoken immediately or you want to click for an activator event. And you could actually choose your activator event and you could choose the device state. So if you want it to only do it when it's locked or when it's unlocked, you could do that or you could choose both, which I have it on right now. And you could disrespect the mute switch. That means if your device is muted, it's going to speak anyways. It's going to like basically ignore the mute switch and um, speak out your notification. If you wanted to only actually um, say your notification when your headphones are on, you could click on this and turn it on. If you only want to speak your notification while it's charging, turn that on. If you don't want it to speak when you're in a call, turn that on. And you could also choose um, days and hours you don't want it to speak. So if you don't want it to speak on Mondays or Tuesdays, you can turn those on and etc. If you don't want it to speak during the nighttime, which I want it, then you could actually put a stop speaking after time on there and then a start speaking time, which I'm probably going to do at night. Now if we go back here, we can actually go over some of the other stuff. Activation rules. So we can turn the rules, always perform or listen to notification rules. You can turn that on. And then if we go back, you can go to custom formatting. So if you want it to be customly formatted in dynamic, um, message, title, or title and message when it actually speaks it, you can choose either of them. So if you just want it to speak the message, then you can do that. If you want it to speak the title and the message, then you could do that. So it's pretty self-explanatory right there. And we could actually um, go back now and go to the activator actions. So if you wanted to speak your last notification by um, using an activator method, minus triple press. So basically, I could have it speak my last notification by triple pressing my home button. So let's go ahead and try that. App, Twitter, and by at Risk Tech TV at Risto 95A. Make sure to subscribe to Restatch Tips for more videos. And there you go, it respoke my last event by clicking the home button three times just like I needed it to. And I could also do an activator event for it to stop speaking. So if it all of a sudden turns on and I don't want it on, I'm going to be able to use an activator event to stop it. So you just go in there and pick one. And then you could do the system state. So if you actually wanted to read your Wi-Fi battery and charging state, you could actually do that. Mine is actually set for short hold, so I have to short hold the home button and it should read my system state. Wi-Fi is on and connected to network at home 2876. And there you go, it basically read that I'm on my charging. It basically read that I was on my iPod is 10 p.m. and my device is not charging. And if we go back, you could actually have it speak the date and time if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and we'll pick something for that. Let's go ahead and pick something simple. Let's do single press on the home button. Single press. Today is Thursday, March 1st, 2012, and the time is 10 p.m. And there you go. It read the time right there. 
So that was basically all the settings. They're really simple to set up and I, hopefully I explained them good to you guys. I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna turn off the date and time because every time I click the home button, that's just gonna keep popping up if I don't turn it off. Guys, this one is called Allowed, it's 99 cents and it's on the Mod My Eye repo. Go and get it today if you are any way interested. Anyways guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and check out detectapple.com and I'll see you guys in the next one.